As we begin to address the challenge of climate change, China will be our indispensable partner in the battle against global warning, warming, a battle which literally cannot be won without China's wholehearted commitment. So let us recognize honestly and openly that there are political differences between our two nations. And then let's redouble our commitment to growing our bilateral trade and investment, working together to address climate change and energy security, and building our people-to-people -people contacts to increase mutual understanding of our very different cultures. The basis of all sustainable trade is, of course, mutual benefit. China's entry into the global economy four decades ago had a profound and beneficial effect on the living standards of ordinary people across the developed world, including in the UK. Foreign direct investment in China, including from the UK, helped China to deliver a growth miracle that in turn fueled an unparalleled non-inflationary boom in consumption in the developed world, as well as lifting hundreds of millions of Chinese out of poverty. And today, as British firms seek opportunities in China's gradual opening of its financial services sector to foreign capital and know-how, it is Chinese consumers and Chinese businesses that will reap the benefit of competition, driving productivity, and raising the game of domestic financial services participants. Genuinely a win-win formula. And as China's middle class resumes its meteoric expansion, creating sustained growth in demand for imported high-end consumer products and retail financial services, British businesses must seek out and fulfill that demand, must seize those opportunities, and must be encouraged to do so by those in positions of power and influence.